this is Chris Schubert, Vice President of Business Development at CNSG, and welcome to this week's edition of The Zoom, where we zoom in on thought leaders in the channel today. Today, I have the pleasure of interviewing Misha Setrong, hopefully I got that right, <laughs> at the Head of Solution Architecture at Megaport, which is probably the single most impressive title I've dealt with so far in the Zoom, as the Head of All Architecture of Solutions there. Misha, welcome to the show today. Uh, awesome. Thanks for having me. Great to be here. Awesome. So tell us a little bit about your background and what brought you to Megaport. You have a, a rather interesting career path that touches all sides of the channel. So tell us a little bit yeah. about that. Yeah, actually, um, I definitely wanted to go there. So yeah, I'm glad that you brought that up. But yeah, um, Misha Zitrona, I head up the solutions architecture team for mm -hmm. Megaport. Some of you who this is new to, we treat ourselves as a network as a service. And what I mean by that is we're providing connectivity for enterprise businesses within the data center, or if they're in the public cloud, a born in an Amazon, a Google, a Microsoft, and so on, means to connect between different types of services, on demand, all private. And so I've been in the industry with Megaport now for about four years. Um, feels like it's going on eight. <laughs> Time flies by when you're having fun. Um, but I come from a background of a lot of different types of network services, um, high speed over internet access, point to points, wide area networks, even voice services such as what you fundamentally use today, many of you on the channel, unified mm -hmm. communications. So my prior life, I was with XO Communications for quite some time. Um, and you know that they were acquired by Verizon and then also another cable multi-service operator such as Charter. And so really focusing on network-based types of products. Um, and to your point, Chris, really been on both sides of the house, so both pre-sales and post. And it's really given me a chance to really understand the customer's journey, what it is that they're looking for, and how to fact find and solution sell, if you will, uh, these different types of network products. So core engineering, monitored networks before solution sales with sales engineering, solutions mm -hmm. architecture. So really excited to be here and talk about all things as it's related to what we're up to today here at Megaport. And that's, that's cloud. That's going to public cloud providers. Awesome. Uh, my, my only issue at all with your answer is you said you'd been at Megaport for four years and it feels like eight. That's, that's not the norm for the telecom conversion. It's normally about a three to one ratio. So uh, at least for me, it's, you know, the four years equals 12 in this crazy industry. Um, but, you know, you obviously, uh, you definitely seem very fired up about Megaport and, and the capabilities there. Uh, what energizes you and gets, gets you into work each day at Megaport? Yeah, I think a big part of that and why I kind of added in the extra couple of years was it's really, we're just, we're constantly innovating and mm -hmm. really think about what we do. And, and I'm happy to break this apart is we're really almost a tech software company that owns this network and that automates the entire, pretty much the entire product. So if you have a client that is in a vast majority of these enterprise data centers where Megaport physically owns hardware, mm -hmm. then you're just a physical cross connect away in the building from connecting from your equipment to our network. And what we do from that point is we allow you through a web portal to spin up private connectivity to major destinations around the world. And it really doesn't matter where you connect to Megaport, whether you're in one of our major markets in the US, whether that's in the Bay Area in LA, West Coast, to New York on the East Coast or Dallas, for example, Central. Mm -hmm. You can order a port from our portal in a common data center and then connect to major public cloud destinations. And so what we're seeing today is that whether you're in insurance or banking or retail, you really are not that first anymore. It's the state of this digital transformation. It's you're a tech first company where things are just mobile driven where you're having to consume and report and provide customer experience based off of mobile applications, websites, and you name it. And so companies, enterprises, medium and large are really focusing on how do I tap into a lot of this type of infrastructure, both in my data center that I may be co-located and with these major public clouds such as Amazon, Microsoft, Google, IBM, Oracle, and you name it. And so that's what we're doing. We're here to provide instant private on-demand access from our network to all these major clouds. And we've disrupted the model ever since 2015. We really came in and said, if you can reach us at any one of these data centers, 
you now have this one-to-many approach where you connect to us once, and then from that point, you have seamless on-demand access to consume public cloud services and do it in a private fashion, avoiding the internet. Um, so, you know, it's got me really fired up. We constantly grow our network and scale it. We're constantly onboarding and connecting major cloud destinations onto our platform. And it's really giving your clients the choice to be able to consume and access all these providers and use them for as little as long as they want. And that's where we flip them all on its head, Chris. Um, traditionally, go ahead. I'm sorry. Yeah. I mean, that's a, that's a very good point. And I, and I think it's something that for our, for our channel community is, is so crucial is, you know, you're providing access to those amazing public cloud providers, you know, what, which these companies need to access with. And you mentioned the big names, AWS and Google uh, and Azure, but obviously, you know, you've got a pretty dense list of providers that connect into the Megaport network for, uh, for our channel partners listening today. So critically important in our, in your network design, uh, when you're de- when you're building out those SD-WAN networks or maybe the old traditional uh, MPLS or private line networks, it's what's that network being used for? And nine times out of 10, it's being used to connect to one of these cloud providers. So Megaport truly gives you the ability to, to connect that cloud provider directly into that network. Uh, and one of the things that we love about Megaport is their ability there. Let me show you, you, you in our in our call previous to this, we chat a little bit about um, your different product lines. And you really have, despite all that complexity, you really have two core product lines. Can you tell us a little bit about those? Yeah, absolutely. So we really focus on two things. And I think that's what makes us different in the space that we're in. First and foremost, we've flipped the traditional telco model on its head. And what I mean by that is, fundamentally, a lot of these enterprises they have to factor in the time that it takes to connect to just one destination. And we think of those as what private lines, point to points. So not only that, but not only the lead time to procure a point to point, but the nail down cost for that with the term and the nail down speed. And so for, for many reasons that use case is still great. um, If you want to access that one thing, But for a lot of businesses that doesn't scale and it doesn't give them the flexibility or the agility to be able to to move around much, okay? And so with us, we basically say there's two products that we offer uh, to what you just alluded to, Chris. And one is the Megaport. And we talk Mm -hmm. about that as, think of that as your gateway into our network, what we call our fabric and our platform. You can physically connect to that from a data center or now we've opened up a new target addressable market. And that's really, if... I'm a customer and I may not be in a data center. Maybe I created my business out of a public cloud and I've scaled over time and I'm consuming that just like you and me consume lots of different software applications over our phones. Well, what if I want to start now using your services that may be in a different cloud provider? How do I do that? How do I interoperate both of those clouds and do that securely? And so that really opened up us to step back and go, how do we solve that problem? And it really targeted two new markets for us. And it welcomed to Megaport and now Megaport Cloud Router, whereby we create this device that you can click in our portal and spin up in real time, and you can connect it to many destinations. So think of cloud to cloud connectivity. Any of your customers that want to go from cloud A to cloud B can now seamlessly do that over our private network. And so wow. they avoid, yeah, they avoid cyber attacks don't have to think about DDoS and spoofing and malicious attacks because it's all private, never touches the internet. And we're reducing the data transfer fees for a customer to go from cloud one to cloud two. So it's really powerful. Um, This is available in dozens of locations around the globe over our portal called routing zones. Mm -hmm. Um, The other thing to think too about is how can you use that if you are in a data center? Can you? And you absolutely can. So you can bolt on this cloud router onto your Megaport. And so a lot of times what we see is if you're in a data center, you're going to have what? You're going to focus on your IT. And that's what you should do because that's how your business operates. Your compute, your databases, right? These types of servers. This is fundamentally what a data center is great at. The space, power, cooling, potentially the management of it. Then you have to connect it to network hardware, right? So we try to say remove that complexity. Whatever hardware you have now that's connecting to your Megaport, 
you can add the Megaport cloud router to manage the traffic for you for all these clouds. And so we're really removing the heavy lifting for a customer to have to manage the network complexity and focusing on their IT and their infrastructure within the data center by bolting on this cloud router. And so thinking about reducing latency and better throughput, better performance, you can overlay the cloud router on top of your Megaport from a data center. And then if you're born in the cloud, you can go from one cloud to another using this product. And so it's very disruptive and it makes a lot more sense when you see a demo of it. Um, but if I could shorten it up, it's essentially providing you what you traditionally know as a routing device to manage the data flows and the data from one cloud to the next and both to your data center. So it's not just, you know, bolting on the mega port, which a lot of times is, is a connection to a, one or maybe two uh, cloud service providers, but really introducing the traditional traffic cop function of a router into that network to route multiple different types of cloud providers. Yeah, you nailed it. And so the, to your point, the mega port can do one to many. You can do dozens of connections to different clouds. Mm -hmm. But let's say that you want them to start speaking to each other. What if you now had a device that controlled, to your point, as a traffic cop, for example, that analogy, managed that data for you. And instead, if it needed to go from cloud one to cloud two, it decides that dynamically for you. And if it needs to go back to the data center, it will. And that's the best performance that you could ever achieve. And more importantly, you can just spin this up. It's not a such it's it's a it's a cloud service, folks. It's not oh, I gotta ship a you know a two hundred fifty thousand dollar piece of gear somewhere. No, it's work with the Megaport team, and you're up and running. And that yeah. that that's the joy of cloud coming from all this legacy uh, traditional carrier dudes. It's that oh, uh, you know, you can actually get this stuff turned up quickly with uh, a lot less muss and a lot less fuss. You nailed it. I mean, thinking about owning that hardware and managing the licensing and keeping updates on the operating systems and whether or not you have a good NOx support or if there's a shelf life, it's going to have an end of life. Forget about all that. What if you had this virtual router that's hosted from Megaport through a web portal that connects to your physical infrastructure, mm -hmm. the data center, and goes cloud to cloud? You let us worry about managing that and it's all point and click. So that's the secret sauce, Chris, is that you don't have to be a tech guru to use this type of product. You ultimately will click through a user interface, the same look and the feel as deploying the Megaport all from a single pane of glass, all from a Megaport portal. So let's talk about one of those users. Uh, you know, We always love the case study section of the Zoom here. Tell us about how Megaport has impacted one of your customers. What's their story? Oh, sure, sure. Um, so yeah, one that comes to mind that's, um, uh, very recent is we we have a client who um, they're in the medical and research institution industry. So this is definitely in the medical field, and they're the largest cancer research institution across the U.S. for specific uh, types of cancer. Um, and they have to deal with EMR, electronic medical records. Mm -hmm. So they're co-located in one of our data center partners, and they do multi-cloud. And so they actually have connectivity using a megaport to both AWS and Azure. And they have to process and also store records. Thinking about our data, right, which has to be secure and has to be done in real time. Latency and security was a big factor for them. And through the data center and the megaport partnership, we were able to provide them a solution where they have very low latency into AWS where they also have a platform and it's inside hosted in Amazon in the public cloud. And that platform provides the real time data analytics and processing for anything from our information personal to x-rays. And so this is really powerful that you can provide your clients the seamless connectivity to support their performance and their security. And it could be life changing. This could save people's lives. And so when you have stories like that, it goes a long way. And that's what makes what we do even that much more for me to be passionate about. Fantastic. So uh, that's, that's a heck of a good story. And I, and I like the, the fact that you know, you're talking about something that literally can be a life-changing or life-saving service, which is one of the great things about cloud, guys, is when you're getting into the, these types of services, you're avoiding a lot of the, the pitfalls of just general connectivity. And we all like selling SD-WAN now because it's a never-down network. 
But at the end of the day, there's, there's still cuts and outages and issues. When you guys are getting into selling cloud, though, you're really changing, the, as I like to say, the fundamental DNA of how a company operates. And Megaport provides a great avenue for that. Uh, with their platform. And yes, it does bolt on to your traditional sales. Going along with that, you know, one of the unique things with Megaport is we have a direct relationship with Megaport. Megaport services, you can work directly with that team to add it into your SD-WAN, your MPLS networks, your private line networks, etc. But Misha, obviously, you guys have a robust kind of wholesale relationship. And there, there's a lot of folks that will sell Megaport generally under the brand of Cloud Connect. And I'll put up my quotes for my, <laughs> for my, uh, uh, for my, my viewers here. Yeah. Um, how does working directly with Megaport differ than buying Cloud Connect through one of your wholesale partners? Yeah, absolutely. So there's a couple of sweet spots too that I think would really hit home with, with our agent community and, mm-hmm. and you all being the trusted advisors to your customers. When really opening up some doors about what is their cloud strategy? You know, What are they trying to do today as it relates to different software apps? How, mm-hmm. how are they keeping their business competitive? It's so, so important to... They may do a consolidation. They may acquire another company. They may have to change how they achieve their customer experience. And so thinking about this is really a part of their connectivity solution for running their operations, their IT. So having a partner such as Megaport to help win business around as it relates to these things, it's really public cloud services. Um, There's so many great things they can do within the data center, but ultimately they need to be able to shop and have the choice and the control to do public cloud. Um, and even multiple public cloud providers. And so when you work directly with us, you're going to have a dedicated account team. Um, and we'll talk about that. And then we'll talk about the flavor of, of kind of the resellers that also serve this for their customers. Mm-hmm. I think a couple of the key spots to consider is if they are using cloud today, are they using mm-hmm. it over the internet or are they going direct? Right. That is fundamentally what you want to know because that's really the only two roads that you can take. Over the internet, you're going to be charged a certain amount. And those data transfer fees are drastically reduced when you use a Direct Connect partner. Right. Support. The reason for that is, think about it. When you go direct, you're achieving a certain level of performance and dedicated capacity. These cloud partners, these cloud service providers, incentivize that because the performance is higher and greater and they really believe that you're going to consume and use more of that business. So why not incentivize it? So it's, it's really good sales for you to be able to educate them and arm them. And we have all kinds of cool sales collateral around this about if you were to partner with Megaport and go direct, you, we can reduce the data transfer fees by X. And a lot of times, uh, Chris and everyone on, on the line, we're talking 60, 70, 80% cost reductions as, as it relates to egress charges. And that's just part of the bill for what the cloud charges uh, month to month. But fundamentally, that, that's a great savings for them and, and really talks and reduces their TCO, their total cost of ownership. Um, another one is really time to market. I mean, thinking about the reality is if you were to go identify one of the sites out of the 500 plus locations today that Megaport can reach and your customers located there, that's an easy shoe and opportunity to have that conversation. Again, bringing up, what is your cloud strategy? Do you have one? What are you doing as part of this digital transformation going into 2020 months away? Um, and ultimately, is there certain applications that you want to get to directly? Because they may be on Megaport's platform already, which very likely they are. So these are ways for you to open up and peel back and arm yourself with cloud opportunities and how we can win together. Um, from a reseller standpoint, It's multi-tenant, it's multi-service. So if you have a service provider that wants to provide connectivity on their customer's behalf, they may may handle it end-to-end, single single paper, single Mm -hmm. invoice. They may manage not only the connection, but customer's private network, their wide area network, their UCAS, you name it. Um, If it's just cloud, great. But we will say, take a port with us or multiple in different locations and deliver services for your customers. So we're going to win business with you, whether it's a resale service provider that you are working with or a direct enterprise. You get tagged to everything. Um, and, and essentially, when they are basically ordering the services, you're affiliated to all that business. And we're here to guide you along the way. So once you get assigned a dedicated account team, you're going to have not only 
a sales director, but a solutions architect who will design this stuff directly with you or and or with your customer, whatever is more comfortable for, for that opportunity. Um, so those are the big key takeaways. Got it. Got it. One thing I want to kind of key in on there again with some of the resellers is some of those folks that are offering the Cloud Connect service and they tout that they're with Megaport, they may only have one lo- one connection to your network. They may only have one Megaport themselves. Whereas when you're buying the service direct, your solutions architecture team headed by yourself, <laughs> will be be there to help make sure that they've got all the connections they need to maximize the Megaport offering. Exactly. I think that's a big distinction there. So we, we've learned a lot today about uh, the, the value that Megaport provides. But for our channel partners listening today, this all begins with the cloud conversation. You know, and I, I know for many of you, it's second nature. For some of you, it's I stick with my access and I stick with my network. But ask those questions. You know, what are those applications being used for? Would it make sense to have those applications work even better? And find out what they are. And then contact Megaport. Chances are, if they've got an application in the cloud, Megaport's got a dedicated connection somewhere on their network to those guys. It's not just for AWS and Google. It's in some crazy ones, you know, obviously Salesforce, but Oracle and, and several other major database providers are all part of that Megaport offering. So ask those questions and engage the Megaport team. Speaking of that, Misha, how, what's the best way for CNSG to, to get engaged with Megaport? Uh, yeah, sure. So if I could encourage two things, and this is really to help you for your current and your future book of business, mm-hmm. really focus on bringing up cloud. It's so great for you to nurture your customers and even net new um, and grow that because we really see the consumption, the amount of choice just scaling as it relates to different types of software services and workloads. Your customers have a choice. I would save two links. If you go to megaport.com and you Uh click at the very top right under locations and say that as a favorite in your web browser, you can easily reference immediately by where does my customer currently sit? Are they in a enterprise co-located data center or are they on-prem in their own maybe site or campus? Um, As soon as you identify that, that is the low hanging fruit right there, whether or not we're already in the same building. And then that opens up your capability to speak to what are you doing about the cloud? Um, I may have a great partner that's right there, ready and available for you. And in minutes, you can spin up connectivity once you connect to them. Um, So that's one. The other one is at the very top right of megaport.com, click on sales, fill in just a very little bit of information, put in what the opportunity may be, and you'll get engaged immediately from our sales op bringing in the account team. And that's how you'll get paired to a sales director and to a solutions architect for my team. And then from that point on, you win business together. And that is what the end goal always is. Uh, Misha, thank you so much for being a guest on the Zoom today. This has been a fascinating discussion of a very unique product. A lot of time we have on here, and we're talking about the differentiators of the companies, but a lot of times the products are very similar as is normal in telecom. But Megaport is a unique offering within the CNSG portfolio. And I encourage all of our partners to get to know Misha and his team and help have them help you on the next step of your cloud journey. Misha, thanks again so much for joining us today. Yep. You're very welcome. Thanks everyone. Cheers. And we'll see you all next week on the zoom. 